Our top story tonight, continuing coverage on the death of Caitlin Yazviak, a Wilkinson County 12 year old who died Wednesday afternoon. Tonight, we hear from Caitlin's teachers about the kind of young girl she was. We're also digging deeper into the problem of child abuse and neglect and how to spot those signs. But first, we want to know about the investigation. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation arrested Mary Catherine Horton, Caitlin's mother, yesterday afternoon. She is charged with second degree murder and second degree cruelty to children for Caitlin's death. The GBI says Horton called Ivy police about an unresponsive child around 2 p.m. Wednesday. That child was Caitlin and she was later pronounced dead at a hospital. The GBI started its investigation around 4 o'clock that day. They arrested Horton roughly 24 hours later, calling it a case of neglect. Tonight we're learning more about Caitlin's life. The GBI says Caitlin had a history with the Department of Family and Child Services in a few different central Georgia counties. Those included Twiggs and Jones. Today we also learned she once went to school in Bibb County and that we actually featured her right here on 13 WMAZ. Kayla Solomon joins us live from Ivy where Caitlin last lived. Frank, from social media posts to comments, the general consensus of Caitlin Yazniak is that she was very much loved. Now, we first met her four years ago in 2016 as part of our My Teacher is Top series when she wrote a letter nominating her teacher at the time, Miss Courtney Amerson Williamson. Caitlin described her teacher as always having a smile and said her favorite learning center was math. Leland Holt was Caitlin's teacher last school year at Clifton Ridge Middle School in Jones County. She says Caitlin was a timid student. My main goal as a teacher is I build a relationship before teaching. Um, that's just kind of always been my teaching philosophy. I want, I want them to be comfortable with me and know that my class is always a safe place. Caitlin would just be beginning her seventh grade year at this time. Live in Ivy, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Kayla. Wilkinson County Coroner Billy Matthews says they should get the autopsy results back next week.